So a simple tip for doctors starting their first job in the NHS, so whether that's you're about to start the foundation program or an international graduate just joining the NHS for the first time. So as part of the pre-employment checks, you'll be required to do an enhanced police check. It's called the enhanced DBS, which stands for Disclosure and Barring Service. Now, when you first apply, after you get your DBS certificate, you have 30 days to sign up for something called the DBS Update Service. It costs £13 a year, and I'd strongly recommend that you do this straight away. That's because after the 30 days, it won't be possible until you have a, a new full enhanced DBS. And every time you change jobs from one hospital to another, or those of you when you enter training, if you're, for example, doing a rotation in a GP practice, every single time you will be required to do a new enhanced DBS. Now, if you're on the update service, all you need to do is provide them your DBS update service ID, and then they can just check it without needing to go through all of your identification checks again. Otherwise, you'll need to show originals of things like passport, driving license, proof of address. You have to physically go and have that verified either at HR, medical staffing, or you can do it via the post office. But can you see it's a hassle. On top of that, let's say now you join a, a, a locum agency or doing some locum shifts. Again, in most cases, you're going to have to do a new enhanced DBS unless you're on the update service. It can cost anywhere from about £45 to £60 plus, depending whether you're doing it through an agency or um, NHS trust. So save yourself time, hassle and money. Within 30 days, sign up for the enhanced DBS update service. So I hope you found that helpful. If you want more tips for working within the NHS, medical careers, please do subscribe and follow the channel. Thank you so much.